Litmus Milk Test The Litmus Milk Test is used to differentiate among microorganisms that enzymatically transform different milk substrates into varied metabolic end products. Litmus milk broth consists of milk, sugar, lactose, pH indicator litmus, and milk protein casein. Depending on the types of enzymes produced by different organisms, a variety of different chemical changes happen in the medium. The pH indicator incorporated in the medium helps in the detection of the production of acid or alkali and oxidation reduction activities of microorganisms. Materials required Triptic soy broth culture of different microorganisms Inoculating loop Litmus milk broth Bunsen burner Procedure Arrange all the cultures and media in the laminar airflow. Take triptych soy broth from the rack containing 24-hour culture. Take an inoculation loop and sterilize it in the blue flame of the Bunsen burner till red hot and then allow it to cool. Remove the cotton with the small finger of your right hand and flame the mouth of the tube. Take a loop full of culture from the tube. Flame the mouth of the tube again. Replace the cotton and return it to the rack. Take a sterile litmus milk broth from the rack. Remove the cotton and flame the mouth of the tube. Inoculate a loop full of culture in the broth. Flame the mouth of the tube and place it in the rack. The other two test cultures were inoculated successively. Incubate the tubes at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 to 48 hours. After incubation, observe the results. Result Escherichia coli convert the milk sugar lactose into lactic acid with the help of enzyme beta-galactosidase. The medium turns pink due to curd formation and gas formation. Pseudomonas aeruginosa hydrolyze the milk proteins, primarily casein, into their basic building blocks, namely amino acids. This is accompanied by the evolution of large quantities of ammonia, resulting in an alkaline pH. The reaction is known as peptonization, where brownish supernatant called whey is formed. Bacillus cirrus also results in the peptonization of the medium with the formation of rennet curd due to the action of enzyme renin on casein. This forms paracasein, which in the presence of calcium ions, is converted to calcium paracasinate and forms an insoluble clot. Rennet curd is a soft semi-solid clot that will flow slowly when the tube is tilted.